Yo, what's up guys? This video, we're just be playing some ladder on the mid ladder account with 3.0 Expo. Maybe try to push to like 57, 5,800 trophies. So yeah, let's just head straight into some games. And looks like we found the first game here against Scary Terry. She's gonna be level 12, which means we can't really Ice Spirit at bridge in this, in this kind of matchup because uh, it's not really gonna do anything since as a level 11 Ice Spirit, I think the tower like two shots it. So it's gonna have to be running Ram Matter Zap. So probably like some sort of pack deck. I think I'll go in just because I do have a knight that's gonna be at like half HP. And he's gonna Valk and Hog as well. So definitely an odd deck on the opponent's end. We can try to Ice Spirit to get my Expo possible connection, but I think the Valk went up finishing it off. So we don't get a connection there. At least we kinda do know what our opponent is gonna be playing now. And he just goes another Ram Matter. So we can just go ahead and Tesla on top of that. And it should be fine not take any damage. So I'm still not too sure whether or not he's going to be running P.E.K.K.A or not. Because usually you don't see like P.E.K.K.A as well as Valk. Uh, or like another mini tank. So I think... Yeah, I'm not going to Expo yet because we're probably down some Elixir. Since we were not at 10 when you played that Infernal Drag. So let's go ahead and cycle our Knight in the back here. And kind of wait to see what he is going to do. And just goes with guards so we can archers that and i'm just gonna skeletons he might actually end up going zap so i'm just gonna ice spirit and try to get the hog to like reset my tesla so yeah we only take one hit from his hog it's not gonna be too big of a deal probably do need to find a way to get an expo lock though just so we can catch up in damage actually that's my archers connect which is gonna get quite a lot of damage on the right hand side so we'll just go knight in the back for his valk um so he might try to Ram Rider or something. Wait, why does he have Hog and Ram Rider? That's an interesting deck on the opponent's end for sure. So I'm just going to Fireball log this. Make sure the Ram Rider is not able to connect to our tower here. And then just Skeletons so we can keep our Arches alive. And I'm just going to Expo off of this. Since we do have Arches up that are going to help out a little bit. He's just going to Hog, which should shut down our Expo. Did manage to bait out his Fireball though. And he's going to Infernal Drag. I do have my Tesla back in cycle if he does go in for a Hog or something. Or a Ram Rider. So this is going to be fine defense. And I'm just going to Expo now because we have an Archer up that's going to help deal with his Infernal Drag. And he's going to Hog like this. Let's try to log. Maybe get it down. Ooh, so we don't get the log down quite in time. But still manage to get like a couple of ticks off from our Expo. And he's gonna go Ram Rider, we do have our Tesla back in cycle though. So we're not in a terrible spot right now. We are going opposite lane. Which I think is gonna be good in this type of matchup. So he's gonna hog. I think I'm just gonna go Tesla again. I really don't wanna let his hog get any hits on tower. And do end up baiting out his zap there. So I think we can go defensive expo. I don't know if he's gonna try to fireball it or just like spam troops into it. Because a lot, a lot of people in trophy range like don't know how to, like, they don't know what to do. Oh, that was a terrible log. I thought the Ram Matter was going to end up bypassing that. And hopefully my archer survives. Um, okay, I'm just going to knight so we can kite his Inferno Drag over. And then we can Expo off of this. He's going to go with another one. So I'm going to log his guards. Okay, he actually does end up getting the Valkyrie down. So we're not able to get an Expo lock here. But it's still going to be up just 14 HP going into a triple elixir here. And I think we want to keep up pressure. Well, I can't Expo now, I guess, since he did cycle a Ram Matter. So I'm going to Ice Spirit. We can push the Hog into the Tesla. Make sure it does not get to our tower. Oh, shoot. Oh, I think it's one hit. I wasn't even paying attention to the Hog there. Hopefully that does not end up coming back to haunt us. And just trying to keep up pressure as much as possible. Do end up bidding out his Hog. And I think we can probably go with another Expo. Okay, he actually is going to Ram Matter. So I can Tesla. And there's no way that Ram Matter connects. So I can Expo now. He's going to Zap, but it's not going to allow it to connect. And we do get the Expo connection. I think that should secure us the win. He's going to make sure to cycle back to my Tesla. Kind of assuming he would go in for a Hog. And with only 20 seconds left, there's not too much our opponent can do now. So we'll just head up with another Tesla on defense. And... Just kind of watch out since we'll most likely go in for a hog on like the left hand side. 
So I'm gonna ice spear, make sure that does not like bypass or anything. And fireball tower. And hog does not connect. But yeah, it's gonna be a good game. Uh, he didn't have like, I don't know if this guy had any max cards or not. He might have had like one or two. I wasn't really paying attention. But yeah, definitely an odd deck on the opponent's end with like the hog and the rare matter. You usually would only see like one or the other. But yeah, it's gonna be a nice win to start off the video. We're just gonna head straight into another game. It's gonna be against Dominator here. We'll give him the good luck. And we'll have a max gom gang. So this might be some variant of log bait. We'll have to kind of wait and see. It looks like it will be. And this have a, only a level 13 gom bro. So ooh, this is like cannon card bait with bandit rascals. It's gonna be quite difficult. I, I faced this deck so much like last season on my main account. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be cannon card bait. So I'm not sure exactly how we're gonna be able to break through. Especially since we don't have the best card levels on this account. Just gonna watch out. He might princess the bridge on like either side. Okay, looks like he's not going to. So I'll take my Tesla pie here. Might end up banning out Rascals or something. Oh wait, what? He has Mega Knight. That's I didn't really expect that. So we get skeletons to distract his prince. And Tesla should finish everything off here. And since he kind of committed so much elixir there, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna log. I don't think the prince would have connected, but I would have probably logged anyways just to play it safe. So at least it gave me some value with that gombro. So we can go archers on his bandit. You can place your archers so that the bandit does not dash onto either of them, and you can fully counter it. And I'm just gonna expo honestly because like he uses mega knight, so probably doesn't have too much in hand. And I'm just gonna totally ignore that Dark Goblin since I feel like he won't have enough to play Mega Knight on this, hopefully. Even if he does, okay, he's gonna Gom Gang. I'm just gonna log. Even if they have Gom Barrel, you can still use your log on offense because, like, I knew he was low on Elixir there. So we're gonna get a ton of damage from our Expo, and it's also quite easy to defend their Gom Barrel without log, anyways. You can just go like Archer Skeletons like this, and it will always defend their Gom Barrel perfectly. Or if you don't have like archers in hand, you can just fireball it, obviously. And even though it's a negative one trade, it's not uh, too big of a deal. So we have to tower down to 1900 here. He is gonna end up going Mega Knight. So I'm just gonna go archers down low like this. Because I think we can get our king activated, possibly, from the Mega Knight. Okay, perfect. So I'm just gonna go log. Um, oh shoot, the Dark Goblin actually got a lot of damage on the other side. So I'm just gonna Ice Spirit. Hopefully the Prince didn't get like, that much damage. Wait, the Bandit Glitch might get us a lock here. It looks like it will. Um, so it go goes like invisible now. It actually is a glitch. Like it normally is not supposed to happen. They just haven't fixed it after the update yet. And yeah, only 10 seconds left. This is gonna be a good game for sure. I'm just gonna log his Dark Goblin to be safe. It does end up showing the arrows. Which he, I don't think he even played those the whole game. So definitely going to be a solid win. He did have quite a, quite a bit of level 14 cards. So definitely glad we were able to win that there. So just heading straight into the next game here. Going to be against Fear You Lace 2.0. And I'm just going to fireball his gun, bro. Unfortunately, we don't have our login cycle. And this, just like looking at his first two cards, this is not looking like it's going to be a fun match at all. With the Furnace and the Gombro. I wouldn't be surprised if he's running Mirror or something. Since I know there is like one Mirror and Gombro spawner deck. That some people play. I'm going to defend the way to be honest. Because I'm kind of scared of what this guy's going to have. And it's, it's like a pretty safe play. Like it'll get value against his Witch either way. So let's see here. He's going to go Ram Matter. I'm just going to place all my Cycle cards. Try to distract it. Okay, that Ram Matter... I didn't know if he was going to go for the expo or not. And he does get one fire spirit to connect, which is going to be a little bit annoying. So at least we know what the win condition is going to be. Although you never know. Some people run like three win conditions in one deck at this range. So I'm going to get my Tesla ready in case he has like a, a pocket balloon or something. You never really know. And if he goes furnace again, I think I'll just pre the Tesla. If he cycles witch the back, he's actually just going to go Valk. So I'm gonna Ice Spirit up high, and hopefully the Fire Spirit goes to my Tesla, 
Yeah, I think that's better than if it were to like connect to my tower. So we go ahead, log. Is that a far barrel? Okay, it is kind of. And while our log does like not even kill his fire spirit, which is kind of a dumb interaction in my opinion. So to be honest, I'm just gonna go fireball. Hopefully he doesn't ram her off this. So I'm just gonna skeletons. Hopefully his lumberjack doesn't get any damage. I'm gonna archers to be safe. Ooh, okay, so we kind of let a lot of damage through there. It's not the best defense in our end. Luckily, double elixir will save us because we'll have enough elixir to play our Tesla on his ram rider. And I think what we have to do now is just set up for a defensive expo. I think that's the one way we're gonna be able to break through. Don't think he's shown a big spell yet. And of course, there's gonna be a max wizard. Can have a mid ladder deck without a level 14 wizard in it. So defensive expo is actually need a lot of value here. We can get a free fireball off on his witch. And if he ram at her, I don't think he's really gonna do too much. It'll just go to my expo, I'm pretty sure. Since Archer's down low, we'll have our log in the cycle for his gumbo. Ramatter does not connect to our tower. I'm gonna expo over here actually, just because we have like an archer with more HP. And hopefully we can get our knight down for Falc. Oh wow, we're actually lagging, so that was really unfortunate. Since he probably would have had to spend like extra elixir there if I didn't end up lagging on my knight. So we can go log down low on his gumbo. And he's gonna furnace. Let's just go for another defensive expo right here. Since it's definitely gonna get value, he does not have a big spell, I'm pretty sure. And I'll Tesla if he goes like Ram or something. Okay, he's doing a witch. I think we can actually like hit the furnace as well. So he just gives us a really good fireball there. And to be honest, I. Okay, I was gonna go in, but he just placed out wizard. So it's probably not the best. It's gonna log. I can fireball Scumbrel, so it's fine. Oh shoot. Wow. That was a really bad fireball on my end. I didn't realize he threw the barrel like in the back there. So we might have to try to get an expo connection now. I mean, we're, we pretty much don't have another choice because we're down so much damage. I do want to get a defensive expo down first. So we'll just test the pie like this first round matter. Make sure it cannot connect, and I have to skeletons for that fire spirit. He's gonna give us a decent fireball, so I think I'll take it. Ooh, somehow that fire spirit connected. And unfortunately, I think this is gonna be a good game. We do have an expo up, so we kind of have like one more chance. But this is not looking good for us at all. So I'm just trying to go in, last ditch effort, but unfortunately, I don't think it's really gonna do anything. He's just gonna Valk. We'll log on the Gumbro. And. Yeah, this is gonna be a good game for sure. He did have like a mostly max out deck. And to be honest, this is probably like a good match for me just because he doesn't have a big spell. But I missed a fire bonus Gumbro. And the level 11 tower, it actually takes three shots to kill one goblin, uh, which makes it like kind of difficult. Like, if, if I miss one fireball or something, then it pretty much is going to allow him to get so much damage on our tower. But hopefully we can win it back here in this next game against Dadu. He's Psycho Knight in the back. We'll do the same thing. Looking, maybe like a log bait deck. Classic bait. Okay, he's just going to go Prince in the back. He's going to be level 14. I guess I'll fireball his wizard here since we can hit the prince and the knight as well there's a log hopefully it ends up killing the wizard all right that's fine so prince wizard arrows don't know what his what condition is gonna be to be honest i wouldn't be surprised if it's mega knight or something so let's just go expo i kind of want to see what he's gonna have so baby dragon and e -Wiz, so i think i'll just try to like fire about this it'll get my expo a tiny bit of damage so i still think it's worth it and we'll go knight of high uh first bandit only his level 12 bandit i 
think if we win this game, we'll be like 5,700 trophies. And my knight, does that get a hit? Yeah, I would've got a hit because his tower is only level 11. And I don't know if he has a big spell or not. Oh, I kind of forgot about the arrows. Maybe those are bad archers. Does that knight get one hit? Okay, that's actually really annoying. I should've got my ice bear down a little bit quicker. And I'll just Tesla his baby dragon. I don't really want to take that damage. So we're down uh, 300 damage here, going into double elixir. I think since we like know what he's playing, we'll be able to get like a lock, unless he has a, a mega or something hasn't played yet. And double elixir is actually gonna kind of be good for us because we can have enough to fireball his wizard. We won't be able to get our expo to connect though. Well, I got a knight. Hopefully, we get it down for his bandit. Ooh, that was really bad. So, his bandit is gonna get a connection to our left hand tower. We'll fireball his electro wizard. Because, why not? And, just gonna cycle back to my log here. Just so we can kill his e -wiz. Not the best arrows on the opponent's end. We are free, up, uh, free to use our archers here on his knight. So he's gonna wizard. I think we'll set up for a defensive expo. Should get some value against like whatever he decides to play. Uh, okay, that was like an interesting <laughs> uh, play on his end. So I'm just gonna knight to be safe. Don't want to let his bandit have any chance to connect. Uh, Baby dragon will go and range to the tower though. I think we're gonna kinda do the same thing and just set up for another defensive expo. Well, we don't get our skeleton sound quite fa uh, down fast enough. So I'm just gonna knight over here, Tesla, finish off his baby drag. He's gonna end up going with the arrows. So we kind of have to catch up in damage. Uh, with like fireballs and logs. So I'm just gonna go defensive expo like this. And Fireball is a uh, wizard to be honest. Just so we can kind of get some damage. So we'll skeleton so we can pull his bandit. Try to keep our defensive expo alive. Okay, I'm just gonna tussle his baby drag. We'll let the expo go. So entering triple elixir now. I'm just gonna go defensive expo like this, and I need a fireball cycle. I don't feel like it's gonna be too difficult to spell cycle without being punished, just because he doesn't really have a win condition. Wait, can we get back to a fireball? I think we can. All right, this is gonna be really good since I should end up killing his wizard. Tesla, just so we can snipe his baby drag. Actually, ends up playing E Wiz, but we're looking quite solid right now. Uh, Tesla should kill his baby dragon. And Fireball puts us in a slight damage lead. So I'm gonna log, get back to our knight for his baby dragon. Try to pull everything to the side into our Tesla. I'm just gonna log low to be safe. Okay, that wizard was kind of close to getting hit. So I'm just gonna Tesla and Ice Spear like this. Go Skeletons. Log should get down in time, I believe. Wow, that was actually a super close game. Wait, if my log didn't get down, I don't know if we would have, like, lost. Yeah, I'm pretty sure log does, like, 100-something damage. Actually, let me check. I don't know how much damage a level 11 log would do. 87 damage. I kind of forget how much HP there was there, but... Yeah, super close game. I think we'll just go for one more. And we're gonna be against Ben Her is Peru. From Los Valientes. Uh, he's gonna be another level 11. So hopefully this won't be too difficult. We can't single Ice Bear Bridge for tower connection. But he's gonna end up going Eagle in the back. So this might be difficult if he has like a Night Witch Rage or something. Uh, cycles E Drag. <laughs> he gives us the, the chicken emote. So let's see here. If he was... Oh my gosh. He's gonna Mega Knight. That is. This is not going to be fun to deal with at all. So I'm just going to Tesla low like this. And I think we might end up losing this here. 
Is Magnet going to King? It actually does. So we're just going to Skeleton so we can finish off those Elixir Blobs. Try to get my Knight down for as many P.E.K.K.A. We don't, I have to Arch as well so we don't take like too much damage. Alright, that was um, that was not the cleanest defense. I don't think there was a lot we could do there. Since his Mega Knight pretty much just shreds through everything. Um, but we'll still try our best. He's going to Eagle him again, which is unfortunate. So I'm just going to set a, a Tesla on defense. We do have our King activated though, so it might make it a little bit easier to defend. But he's probably going to do the same thing. So this is going to be a little bit scary. We'll just go ahead and Knight Archers. I really need double Elixir to, to save me here. So we'll log, try to get some Elixir from the Blobs. Oh my gosh, he's going to Balloon. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Wow. This was like a crazy deck on the opponent's end. Uh, if we had like a, a higher level Tesla, it's definitely going to be, it would be easier to defend there. But yeah, I'm not too upset about that because like, that's just an insane deck on the opponent's end. There's not too much we could have done there. So we'll go in for one more game. Hopefully end it off at 5,700 trophies still. And we're going to be against Ruin688 here from Stir Money. He will let the Iceberg connect and it's going to be Bandit. I think I have to Knight too. I kind of misplaced with Skeletons. Although, since it's Bandit's level 12, I don't think it's possible to fully counter with Skeletons anyways. So let's put our Archers to the back and kind of wait here, see if you play something. Alright, this is looking kind of like just Pekka Bridge Bam with, uh, no, without the Magic Archer version. And he's going to pack it back. He's going to free us up to go in for an Offensive Expo. He will Battle Ram, so I'm just going to Knight and try to catch the Barbs. So I'm my Expo with a decent amount of damage. And let's see here. He's going to Fireball, kind of like a, a panicky Fireball. Since he's not really going to be able to support his Pekka too much here. So this should be pretty easy to stop. The other archer is going to go over, so it's going to make his Pekka have to walk all the way across just to end up killing the archer. And he's going to band it. Let's just go Skeleton's Tesla. Kind of unfortunate that we had to waste those. But if he goes Battle Ram, I could just like pull with an Expo. I don't even know if he sickled back or not. Actually, I think I'll go off into Expo now. Just because we have a Tesla, it's going to help out a little bit. Although somehow he, he got back to a P.E.K.K.A. I probably should have expected it because he did like end up placing the P.E.K.K.A. in the back. Which means uh, he was able to cycle back to it after that offense. So we do finish off the Ghost here. And entering double Elixir now. We'll just, uh, he's going to battle ram Tesla. Ice Spirits, we can pull those minions as well. And he is going to Fireball. So go ahead, Knight. The good thing is I don't need to worry about him going Magic Archer on my Knights or anything, because he's not running it. So we'll Offensive Expo. He goes Evos at the same time. So is able to get the Pekka down, but won't have too much Elixir to support it immediately. Hopefully he doesn't get a hit. Okay, perfect. So Knight. I'm just going to Fireball and Log as well kill the e-wiz maybe my x to connect i'm gonna scout to the offense just so we can kill this bandit uh can we kill his ghost before it gets a hit off on the expo we actually do so you fireballs i'm gonna go expo immediately because i don't know if he should have enough to play pekka on this and we do get the expo lock he might end up uh just going to zap late or unless he doesn't have it in the cycle which luckily he won't have zap Oh, okay, so, I mean, for some reason, he decided to wait a long time before using the zap. But yeah, pretty easy matchup. He did have the card level advantage, even though he was level 11. But we're still able to get the win there. And I think I'll end the video now. We did manage to make it to 5,700 trophies. So yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, my midnight videos, for some reason, keep doing really well. So I'll definitely consider doing more of them. Maybe try to push like 6k this season or even above as level 11. So yeah, stay tuned for that. As always, thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.